Show yourself, you fucker! Huh? You want a piece of me? Huh? You want a piece of me? You... Something's up with you. Where are you from again? Transnistria. Why? I thought so. That's where Dracula is from, Jim. Jim? She said... <laughs> So we are talking about the movie Cryptic, a 2014 movie that is packaged a bit like a horror film. It isn't. In no way is it a horror film, despite the marketing material looking like that. I will explain in just a moment. So this one is actually directed by a pair, Freddy Hutton Mills and Bart Raspoli. And basically, this is a kind of British gangster film and it's the only kind of horror elements that we have is the locale. Basically, it actually is all set in one room, which is basically a crypt. And we have eight uh, criminals who, who all are connected somehow, basically end up having to kind of guard this mysterious coffin. And they've all kind of got part of the puzzle, shall we say. And it's really just a kind of a exchange of dialogue between these kind of characters. Uh, and we kind of, un, you know, there's a variety of kind of secrets are unveiled and conflicts kind of flare up. And that's it, really. That's that's pretty much a film. So it is really a, a kind of a very kind of low key gangster film, just kind of with a barest of minimum of a horror aesthetic. But this is not a horror film. So what did I think of this film? I have to say it definitely is trying to um, get some of that kind of Reservoir Dogs feel to it. The, funny enough, they even mentioned that film in there, but it's clear that that is what it is going for. It's trying to have that kind of that banter, that kind of uh, back and forth between the characters. I don't feel it succeeds, if I'm completely honest with you. I feel the characters here were a little bit um, fall into particular cliches, and uh, well, some of them weren't in particular... Uh, particularly great actors i have to say the standout for me uh, was the guy who plays uh, sexy steve stevens ed stobbard he was uh, by far the best and he's basically the banker uh, who is kind of involved and he's a bit of a suave gentleman and he, he definitely give, gives off a a true blood uh, vibe i would say and there are some kind of like spooky aesthetics but it isn't a horror film like i said the rest of the characters are uh, of variety and you'll kind of know more about them as, to, as the film progresses overall i felt this was a bit of a one trick pony and i felt the trick kind of got a little bit old after a while there are some quite fun dialogue here and there and some of the kind of the characters are somewhat outlandish and kind of quite fun but to me i felt they would have been better so it's a little bit dulled back and kind of the one locale i have to say gets a little tiresome sometimes in the hands of, of something like Tarantino, maybe you can kind of get away with it and kind of, because obviously the, the strength of the performances, the direction and the kind of the dialogue. This one is basically a, uh, a lesser version of that. But nonetheless, if you are a fan of the kind of the Tarantino style uh, gangster films mixed in with that kind of like that uh, kind of snatch British kind of uh, gangster vibe, then you may want to check it out. But it's definitely a lower budget B-movie version of that. I have to say, I was getting a little tired of it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's kind of, you can only look at a crypt for so long, if I'm completely honest. And I felt it was getting a little dull. And there is a twist in it, because you just, you just know there's going to be a twist in this film. So you, you kind of start to try and figure out what it is. And it's fairly obvious, if you ask me, what the actual twist is. Uh, it's okay, I would suggest. It's kind of, um, if you want a, a kind of British gangster film, I guess there's worse ones out there. But overall, I have to say, it's pretty mediocre. So I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to it next time. Bye for now.